गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल दिस इज पार्शिका द चैनल वे वी मेक अमेजिंग डिजाइन टूटोरियल्स फोटोशॉप टूटोरियल्स एवरीथिंग अबाउट डिजाइनिंग इन टूडे वीडियो आई गन शो यू हाउ टू मेक एन अमेजिंग पैरन और टेक्स्चर और बैकग्राउंड इन द फोटोशॉप आई एम गन बी यूजिंग सम ऑफ द फिल्टर फीचर्स इन द फोटोशॉप सो विदाउट फर्द टूल एस गेस्ट विद फ्रॉम गो पार्क कंसिडर क्लिक इन द लाइक बटन गाइज आई डू विशे दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट मोर सच वीडियो इन फ्यूचर कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग हिद लाइक एंड वेन एवर ऑल गन अपलोड वीडियोज You'll gonna get notified about it. Also, you can visit our website www.globocreative.com for freebies, for graphics, a lot more. The link is in description box below. If you're looking forward to make money online as a creative person, as an artist, I have other channel where I talk a lot about making money online as a creative person, as an artist. The link is in description box below. Without further ado, let's get started with today's tutorial. Okay, guys. Currently, we are in the Photoshop. We are going to quickly go over to the new option, and we are going to pick up the new canvas. So I'm gonna probably go over to the file option, and we're going to click over to the new, and I'm gonna be picking up a new canvas. You can pick up the whatever size of the canvas you wanna pick up, but I'm gonna be picking up with the 4,000 by 4,000 pixels. That's what I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna keep the resolution 72, the color mode RGB, the background color. I'm gonna keep it as a white. You can keep it the foreground color as well if you would like to. Once you're done with that, you just need to click over to the OK menu, and you're gonna be having a white canvas. Boom! We are having a white canvas. Now I'm gonna be going over to the different options in the Photoshop. I'm gonna be. You can use the different tools that the Photoshop have, whether the brush tool, pencil tool, pen tool, or you can import it out. I'm gonna use the pencil tool in the Photoshop. And once you are done with that, you can pick up the whatever uh, type of the uh, brush type you want to use for your uh, pencil. I'm gonna keep the thing simple. You can increase and decrease the size of your pencil tool. Uh, depending on how bigger or smaller size you want, I'm gonna do the way I want to. And once you're happy with the size, just keep on checking whether it's increase or decrease size. Once you're happy with that, then progressively begin with the part of the designing. So I'm happy with the size currently. So I'm gonna be starting with the designing. Now I'm gonna be just randomly going to make any abstract shapes over here because we will gonna be using a filter feature. So that's why I'm gonna just make randomly shapes over here in the different colors so that I can create a beautiful. uh textures um pattern out of here so i'm using a blue and green color and randomly making any shapes over here kind of like a doodling like making any random shape and i'm going to be taking a yellow color you can change the color color from the foreground background foreground color of your pencil tool and pick up the whatever color you want for your brush or for your pencil tool it depends on all that so i've taken the yellow then blue and then the green now we will going to go over to the filter option and So I'm going to be picking up a different option over here that's a regular and I'm going to be choosing over here the fiber option. We will going to create first a fiber and then I'm going to be using other filter over here. Now you can uh, set the percentage depending on the size of the fibers you want. Uh, I mean it depends a lot how you want to. I'm just going to see which one fits best for according to my pattern and what kind of like uh end result I want for my pattern background. uh you can test drive and see and increase and decrease once you're happy with that just click okay and you're going to see it's turned into the fiber right now i'm going to be again using the pencil tool and i'm going to be making different shapes over here and then i'm going to be using other filter options so i have picked up the yellow green pencil tool and i'm just making randomly shapes over here and then we will going to go back again to the filter option the regular the fiber now you see the green fiber over here so we have created a green fiber pattern over here now i'm going to be trying different stuff over here randomly to see which one fits and what kind of end results i want you can pick have a multiple different uh filters used for your one pattern or background it all depends on you and you can see the size of the cells you can increase and decrease the fiber free, like fiber uh you can call it as a consistency or the fiber how many fibers are there in a small area and you can just see how which one fits best for you and then click okay once you are done with that you see you're going to see a fiber uh, filter or fiber pattern like you have having only a one color over here there's a green color and then again i'm going to go back to the different filter option and i'm going to just make a brush over here you can see i'm using a pencil tool again and i'm going to go back to the uh stylize option i'm going to be using a diffuse filter over here i'm going to use a different different filters and until i'm happy the way my pattern is looking you can have more than one filters in your pattern and i'm going to click over to the okay now you can see uh it's about to taking a little bit more time so you can see it's about to happen right now okay you can see a little bit of the diffusing have we have been used not that much 
So again, I'm going to go back and again, I'm going to go to the regular and I'm going to see the lens flare and see how it's looking in the lens flare, whether I'm happy with it or not. But I think I'm not going to use the lens flare. Again, I'm going to go over to the different option. I'm going to click over the fiber. And again, I'm going to have a fiber pattern over here. Fine. I'm just using different filter to see what kind of end result I want because every other filter option has a different end result. And once we are mixing the one or two milk filters together, like using one of them and then using second one, you're going to get the different results. So I'm going to use another filter option over here. That is a pinch and see how it's looking. So you are getting kind of like a curvy shape over here. Now I'm going to use a pencil tool and create the shape again over here so that I can have again different colors over here. I'm going to use the blue color and we're going to make a different shapes over here. Again, I'm going to go back to the... Again, I'm going back to the pinch filter over here and we're going to see how it's actually looking. You can test drive again it and click OK and see how it's looking. So you can see that kind of like a pinching, the shapes that we have made has a pinched a little bit, okay? Now I'm gonna be using some other color over here apart from blue and green. So we'll have a different color. So I'm using a pink color over here. You can use whatever color you wanna use. And I'm just making randomly shapes over here. Again, I'm gonna go back and use the pinch filter over here. So we have used the fiber filter, the pinch filter, and between I also use the one more filter that's a diffuse filter. So we have using more than one filter over here. Again, I'm gonna go over to the pinch and once I'm satisfied the way it's looking, and this time I'm gonna use uh, some different font over here, trail font to give it a little bit curvy look, a little bit twirl look. So I've used the twirl filter. I mean, you can use the different filters. Then I'm gonna be using a wave filter to create the wave shapes because yeah, it's kind of like creating a wavy shapes over here. You can clearly see that, right? Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna be using again the wave filter to get the wavy appearance over here. I'm using kind of like a three or four different filters for this particular pattern because I want different results. So I'm just test driving with the number of the uh, number of the generations I want of the waves and that I'm experimenting with that one. And once I see that I'm happy the way it's looking, I'm gonna simply click over to the OK option and see how it's giving a wavy look to my pattern, right? right? Now you guys can see, this is a kind of like a pattern we have made. Once you're satisfied that, that, just go over to the file option, click over to the save menu, and then you can quickly save this particular pattern, either in the PNG file format or either in the JPEG file format, depends on you. Just name your uh, digital file that you're saving, your name your pattern, your background over here, then to choose the right type of file tab. I'm using a PNG file tab and click OK. So we have made this beautiful pattern texture using three or four different folder option in the filter option. Hopefully you find it useful. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you find this tutorial useful. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Have you ever tried this filter option or trying the different filter option in the Photoshop? I would really love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I'm gonna see you in the next video with an amazing new tutorial. And if you have any video suggestion or video topic or request, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye guys.